So these guys worked really hard on doing this and then the council come to remove it. And what time did you guys get here this morning? I got here at 11. 11. I got here at 12. 12 o'clock. So you've been here for at least three or four hours. We, I, was, I worked out when, I, when the council got here. We've been going... We would have been going two hours and 20 minutes exactly. Yep. What a shame. I thought it would have taken us longer to do actually. Yeah. Like, I was surprised we did it so You quickly. did such a good job. What a shame. They apparently had two complaints. Oh, yeah, no. there was, I know. There was a guy that was here earlier yeah. that went into the pub, and he's apparently a council cleaner. Right. And he was a, he was so abusive. He abused the fuck out of the police. Like, really? Coming back here tomorrow to clean this shit up. Wow. Fucking talk. I know. Like, all it needs is a bit of rain. To clean this tomorrow. Yeah. All it is is a bit. Of, all it needs is a bit of rain. It would have washed off, but they couldn't just leave it there for more than a few hours. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Something that took you two and a half hours, they've cleaned up in, in less than three minutes, but yet they couldn't have just left it there for a day or two. It's so sad. I knew it was going to wash away, but I, I at least wanted it to be that night. Yeah, agree. Yeah, that's, I was worried about the rain. And... Apparently his class is graffiti, but I don't see how in any way it's offending anyone. Bus graffiti? Well, we haven't asked for money. No, of course it's not their fault.